All right, guys, so the 53-man roster for the New York Jets finally came out right an hour and a half after the uh, 4 o'clock deadline. But let's dive into this thing, right? So first things first, and by the way, this is uh, according to the New York Jets website here. They put out a long list of players that, you know, ultimately didn't make the cut. Uh, unfortunately, now some of those players could come back uh, to the practice squad. So we'll see how it plays out. Of course, they have to you know, go through the waiver uh, order and the Jets are 10th in that order. Uh, so who knows, maybe the Jets claim a player, claim to a couple players. But uh, at this point in time, we got our 53-man roster. Now, I will say this, it's not set in stone. Uh, I remember last season, the New York Jets dropped their 53 and then the next day there were changes to it. So, you know, things are subjected to change. Uh, but here we go here. So, so first things first, we have to talk about the IR. So it's Jordan Travis, totally expected, Kenny Eboa, and Lucky Fotu. Now, you know, going into it, it, it it's tough, right? Lucky Fotu was signed to be the team's primary run stuffer. He's now going to be missing four weeks. Tough blow, right? Now, I'm still excited for Lucky Fotu. I cannot wait to see what he does when he does suit up for this football team. But we do have to talk about those three players first. Now, it's also interesting, too, with Yuboa. He was not released. You know, he wasn't released due to injury. He was just put on this, you know, this, this IR list. So that means when he is healthy, he should be a part of this roster. So with that said, right, the three players that are on IR, let's break down the offense first. So at quarterback, we are rolling with two, Aaron Rodgers and Tyrod Taylor. I think it's smart, right? The Jets waved Peasley. They waved Martinez. I would ideally bring one, one of those two back on the practice squad. In the event that Tyrod gets hurt or Aaron Rodgers gets hurt, you can elevate one. Or if the Jets don't want either one of those guys, you can go out and sign up. There's a plethora of quarterbacks out there. Michael Pratt, by the way, a rookie, got released from the Green Bay Packers. He probably will uh, is is shooting to make the Packers practice squad, but we'll see. I mean, the Jets. You know, if news comes out, uh, you know, tomorrow morning that the Jets claimed him, I, I think that'd be pretty sweet. But there's also other, you know, quarterback three options as as well. So I, I personally wouldn't sweat it, right, that the Jets are only rolling with two. Next up, wide receiver here. So Garrett is, of course, wide receiver one. But behind him, we got Alan Lazard, Xavier Gibson, Malachi Corley, Irv Charles, Jason Brown Lee, and Mike Williams. So the Jets are rolling with one, two, three, four, five, six, seven wide receivers. This, to me, I, I was not expecting. I thought the Jets were going to uh, go into the season with six. Um, and by the way, we did get an update that Mike Williams is ready to start practicing this week. Sweet. Let's go. This is like, finally, finally, Mike Williams is going to be out there. Uh, perfect. Just in time. Just in time for that Niners game. But Brownlee makes the cut. I'm pumped for him. I'm really, really excited. I, I didn't think Brownlee would last, right, if the Jets waved him and got put on the practice squad. I, I thought he would probably be picked up. Uh, next up, let's talk about tight end, right? Jeremy Rucker, Tyler Conklin. Not in that, that starting order, but those are the two. And then again, um, you you would have Kenny Boa on that IR list. So, two tight ends, two quarterbacks. That opens up the door for two extra roster spots, in my opinion. You know, kind of trying to project what the 53 would look like. So, where are those two spots going to be? One is going to be at running back, right? Looking at the running back list now... Four guys, Brees Hall, Braylon Allen, Isaiah Davis, and Izzy Abadakonda. Izzy makes the uh, makes that cut with that RB4 slot. I think a big part of that is because we are, again, only carrying the two QBs and then the two tight ends. Uh, but I'm pumped for Izzy, right? Put up or shut up game in that last preseason match, uh, matchup rather, and performed. Got in the end zone, had a couple big runs, had over 80 rushing yards off of nine carries and one half of football. Sweet. Awesome. Pump for, uh, pump for Izzy. Now let's look at the offensive line, right? The starting group here doesn't really need to be talked about a ton. Tyron Smith, John Simpson, Joe Tipman, AVT, Morgan Moses, uh, rounds out the five. And then the backups, Olu Fashionu, Xavier Newman, Wes Schweitzer, Max Mitchell, Carter Warren. Pretty much expected, right? Totally no shocker there. You know, if you were to ask me a month, month and a half ago, I would have maybe guessed that McGovern potentially could have been a part of the team, but it doesn't look like it at this point. Shifting gears and talking about defense, right? Edge. Let's talk about edge first. Jermaine Johnson, Will McDonald, 
Eric Watts, Michael Clemens, Tack McKinley, Braden McGregor, and of course, Hassan Reddick. So, man, lots and lots and lots of edge rushers here. This is probably the biggest talking point of the day. We did a video on it before. Connor Hughes from SNY reported it earlier. Uh, massive, right? I'm excited to see these young players. And it's cool because the Jets have developed a pathway. They're sending a message to not only just, you know, these guys and, you know, other young players around the league. They're sending a message to agents in future draft classes saying, look, if you are undrafted and you you know, we want you as a team and, and, you know, we feel like you're you're good enough for our training camp and you're interested in coming, you actually have a shot. Like, we will reward you. This is not some, and of course, you know, it's not to say that for every single position, right? But it, it, it there is something there. I mean, think about the Jets' edge position going into the draft. You know, Reddick, McDonald, Clemens, Jermaine. Uh, there was a lot of guys there. Not, not not to mention Tack McKinley thrown into the mix as well. Uh, you know, if you're an agent for one of these younger players coming up and, you know, unfortunately they don't get drafted, they could look at the New York Jets as a team that that it, that, that they, they actually do reward their players uh, or reward undrafted free agents. Hey, look, if you step up, if you perform well, you do have an opportunity. You're not just a, you, a, a camp body, if you will. So really, really excited. And I do love the trickle-down effect from that in potential future drafts. Inside, Quinn and Williams, Solomon Thomas, Javon Kinlaw, Lecky Fotu, again, on the IR list, and then Leonard Taylor, my boy Leonard Taylor from Miami. Let's go. Awesome preseason, awesome training camp. I'm really excited to see that he made the cut. Really, really excited to, to, to see he, uh, him rocking the green and white in the regular season. I'm, uh, I, I think he deserves it, right? I, I think he flat out deserves it. It's somebody who was projected to go at one point pretty early in the you know in the NFL draft, but um, towards like mid to late April, he was probably going to be a fifth to sixth to seventh somewhere in that range. He winds up in the undrafted market. The Jets scoop him up. Uh, next up, linebacker here, f uh, five total. No surprise. Jamie Sherwood, CJ, and Quincy is the the you know top three. Surratt, backup middle linebacker. Zaire Barnes, the backup uh, outside linebacker here. Totally fair. Uh, nickelback, Michael Carter. Corner, Sauce Gardner, DJ Reed, Quantes Stiggers, JBC, Brandon Eccles. Again, expected. I'm pumped. We, the one thing that we do have to keep in mind, JBC is currently dealing with, an, uh, dealing with injury, and Brandon Eccles will be suspended for that week one matchup. So... I could potentially see some movement there. And then safety, Chuck Clark, Tony Adams, the two starters, Ashton Davis, Isaiah Oliver. It's clear the Jets went in this, you know, in, in the direction of, okay, veteran player. Isaiah Oliver is somebody that Ulbrich has worked with before in the past. Let's, you know, put him on this roster as opposed to Jalen Key, who I thought Jalen Key, I, look, I, I thought he did a really, really good job in preseason. I really hope that he makes it to the practice squad. Really, really hope so. Um, but, you know, we'll see. And then as far as special teams goes, right? Greg Zerline, kicker, Thomas Morse said punter, uh, long snapper, Thomas Hennessy. We know that. Punt re starting punt return and starting kick return, both Xavier Gibson, followed by Isaiah Davis, and then Malachi Corley. So there we have it, right? There's the 53-man roster for the New York Jets. Let me know your thoughts down below in the comment section. Really excited for the young players. Really, I mean, what? how many times can you say a win-now football team that's shooting for the division has multiple UDFAs making the football team? Cool stuff. Really, really cool stuff. Anyway, thanks so much. And by the way, sorry for the, uh, the late upload. The roster should have dropped at 4, but it didn't come out until like 5.30, 5.20-ish, uh, somewhere around there. Anyway, thanks so much, and as always, go Jets.